In this quick video guide, we're gonna see how we can import Revit file and use it in 3D Studio Max with Corona Render. Now, the first thing we could do is to import. In that case, we need a DXF file or we can choose link Revit. Now, by linking, we can just select a Revit file without actually export it in DXF or other formats. So we can directly connect link the two softwares together, 3D Studio Max and Revit. So we can use a BIM file, Building Information Modeling, or BIM file, directly into 3D Studio Max. And then we can render that using Arnold, or V-Ray, or Corona. Now in this case, I'm gonna show you Corona. So you just need to select the Revit file that you want, and it's gonna open up this uh, Manage Links tab. So we're gonna connect and then manage the link. And you can see down there is connecting to Revit, which means that it's uh, starting to interpret the Revit file, the BIM file. So all the families, the settings, the lights, the materials that we set up in uh, Revit, we're gonna also um, try to use them directly here. Now we will try to convert everything automatically if something goes wrong and if that also doesn't work you need to go manually one by one like adjusting the objects the geometries the materials the lights and so on now the geometry will be fine uh, in my experience but at the moment we need to adjust a little bit the lighting system and the materials. So there we go. We are now ready. You can see there it recognized the Revit file. We can choose a preset to uh, combine the materials, the uh, categories or families. So you, you can decide how you, you can group things together and then work with them in 3D Studio Max. Now for the rendering, I believe that material will be fine. And then you can see there you have the presets also, you can link AutoCAD files, like DWG files. And there is also a panel for the files that you already linked. So let's attach, and this is gonna finish the operation. It's gonna complete the process of linking the two together. Now by linking, uh, you can then change the original Revit file, and that's gonna be the reloaded and updated also in um, in here so we can see if we go to manage links now we can see the link right there we can reload it anytime if we did some changings or upgrading or updating of our scene now you can see this is a a project an architectural project building with a super a surface there a terrain a landscape that we can also import and manage here in 3D Studio. And um, you can see the geometry looks fine. We have there stairs and doors and the uh, curtain walls and roofs and so on. So we let's go to rendering and let's see if everything is fine. So the first step is to check which render we are using. Now, right now we're using Arnold, which is the default at the moment for 3D Studio Max. So we wanna change that into Corona. Now you need to download and install Corona in order to use it. And if you're interested, you will find an entire video course dedicated to Corona for 3D Studio Max in the channel, among other video courses like Revit and 3D Studio Max and others. Now I'm changing here in the performance, the global illumination, the path tracing as primary and secondary solver because we are in an exterior. Again, if you want to have all the information, if you want to learn to use Corona, you can check the Corona video course. If you want, you can also write your in the comments your questions and ask for assistance if you need it. So let's proceed here. We also have a camera from the top. I can delete that. We can use Corona cameras with Corona. Now, of course, I'm not gonna show you everything about Corona in this video. This is just a guide for you to start to work with the uh, Revit files or ArchiCAD files or BIM files inside 3D Studio Max and Corona. So we can see there is already a sun and um, a sun positioner, which is a tool with, which will help you to position your sun using day, date, time, location. It's pretty handy. And 
Another important tab here is in the, in the environment. You can see we are using physical sun and sky environment, but those are working with Arnold. So we need to convert everything to work with Corona. We need to switch from Arnold to Corona. So we need to recreate the sun and the sky. So we'll delete and just create a new sun, a Corona sun, place it in the scene, move it into position. You can see it's too low, so I'm gonna bring it high and we can now switch from standard quality to high quality to have a preview and you can see it's pretty dark everything is pretty dark so let's see what's going on here let's go in the corona sun and increase the intensity now you can adjust the sunlight so basically the exterior lining by changing either the intensity or the exposure and I'm gonna show you how to do that in just in just a minute. I just want to show you here that we can use the Corona converter right here in the tools, and this is gonna help you to convert as much as you can. So you can convert lights into Corona lights, bitmaps into Corona bitmaps, which is not actually necessary, and basically everything you need to convert materials, maps, lights. You can use the metalness and do auto detect to create metallic materials. So let's try to do a first conversion and hopefully everything will be fine. Otherwise, you can see here. Okay, there, there is, there will always be some issue in my experience when you transfer from software to another. So you always need to know a little bit how to, to adjust and twitch things manually. So let's use the material editor and let's do a color picking here, um, material picking. And you can see it actually converted the, the Corona material right there. So we, we have made a successful conversion of the materials apparently, but we need to test that in a render. But you can see there, those are not standard materials or physical materials, those are Corona materials right now. So let's try to see what, what's gonna happen here. Well, we, ne we need also to change the environment. So let's cut out that environment and let's place a Corona sky. So when you work with a renderer, you need to make everything appropriate for that rendering. So you need to switch. So you need to have Corona lights, you need to have Corona materials, and then you can use the Corona render. So these are like the basic steps that you can do. Now, if you click and drag in uh, an empty material slot, you can also adjust and manage the Corona Sky parameters. And you can see it's automatically detected the Corona Sun that we previously created. So everything was done automatically once again in this case. Otherwise, we, we had to link the Sun and the Sky. So now let's try with some rendering. You can also add a lot of 3D models from Chaos Cosmos. You can find a lot of materials in Chaos Cosmos. Now, again, everything is explained in the Corona for 3D Studio Max video course that you will find in the channel. Otherwise, write in the comments for assistance. You can also write suggestions for other users, by the way. So I'm trying to find a nice point of view here to create a render. So I want to be in a like average height for a human being like approximately one meter and Haiti well something like that some some first person point of view like that and now let's render and see what's gonna happen here so we try to adjust materials and lights automatically but you can see that we already have some issues here it's too bright so this when the scene is too bright again it's either uh, an issue concerning the intensity of the sun or the exposure. Usually when we are in an exterior, we need to bring down the exposure. And when we are in an interior, we need to uh, push them high. So we need to adjust the simple exposure that we find in the post processing panel in the Corona frame buffer. So you can see I'm decreasing the simple exposure and there we go. Now I can see my project and I can see the sunlight, the shadows, and I can see also the materials and how bad they are looking right now. 
they look like mirror objects. They look whole metallic. So probably there is something wrong with the materials. We can see here if everything is fine. You can see metalness. This is non-metal and glossiness seems to be fine, but I think this is not the the material that we are seeing here. So you need to check first if you have like overlapping geometries and uh, then you can, you need to check the materials if everything is correctly set up. Now let's go back to the Corona converter. I want to change here from metalness and force non-metal materials and let's try to convert and let's see what's gonna happen now. So let's re-render and let's see if any, anything changes. Okay, so we can see the, the floor there is still too reflective, but I think some materials have adjusted, like the, the mullions of the carton walls, I think they're, they're looking better, but we have, we have a lot of work to do. Now I, I want to see here if there is geometry which is not actually my terrain because I want to like create a nice grass material for my terrain. So what I can do is change the cut the map of the texture from the base layer of this material here and create a new one, a new Corona physical sky using a preset. I'm going to use something that is not reflective, that is not metallic so I'm gonna go for default let's see what's gonna happen and let's basically reset now you can see there it changed the the aspect of the material and we can now bring down the glossiness to zero or a really low glossiness make sure that there is no metalness applied and make sure that there are no other effects like reflection refraction and opacity and things like that we need a default material and we, and we just apply the default map, which is going to be the, our grass texture right there. So you can also expand the preview by double clicking and it's looking good. So uh, let's render this. Okay, we, we see we have the same issue again. The, I, I, can, I cannot see any grass there. So what I'm thinking is that probably there is some overlapping geometry from Revit that I need to get rid of, perhaps some floor and not the, the actual uh, surface, the, the actual terrain. So be careful what you select and where you apply the material. So I want to make sure to select that floor. There you go. So if I hide it, okay, now I can see there is the... This is not good. This is showing me the, the, the insides of that surface. So sometimes you just hide things and you solve it. Sometimes you just need to select the correct geometry, apply the correct material that you created manually. You can see here that we have a lot of, we need another knowledge of 3D Studio Max and Corona to fix things. So there is no like magic wand. Now let's reapply the material on that surface that we selected and let's see if now we solve that issue. And this is just gonna be the first of many things that we need to adjust here, but you can see it's working right now. So all we need to do is go manually and adjust, fix all those materials. We can use again, materials from Corona. We can create our own materials and so on. And everything is explained in the Corona video course. Also, if you're interested in Revit, you can find a Revit video course as well as a 3D Studio Max video course. So you can see now this is looking good. The exterior lighting is fine. Perhaps it can be a little bit more bright. Materials are showing up, geometries are fine. So we can say that this link process has been successful and that's gonna be it for this uh, video guide. So this is just an introduction for you and if you're interested, you will find a lot of really amazing things in Corona. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video guide. Please subscribe. And if you want to support us a little bit, join the channel.